So the Bluetooth board that we designed on the previous video is fully assembled and has been delivered to us. I've tested all the voltages on the input and the regulators and everything seems okay. So as you can see, the board is powered on. The 5 volt and the 3v3 LEDs are on as well. Now to test the microcontroller, I want to basically flash this test LED that I have here on PA3. And then maybe I will use the PA5 switch as well. So both of them were for testing. What I will do is program the board with the USB DFU, which is I think device firmware upgrade. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your first program using STM tools that are available. So I'll be using STM32 cube MX, STM32 cube IDE, and also STM32 cube programmer. We need the programmer for the USB side. So switching over to the screen now, and let me show you how to create the first program. So remember that the test LED is on PA3 and the switch is on PA5. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up STM32 Cube MX and you can download all these programs from the STM website and I'll leave links for these in the description box below. So open STM32 Cube MX. I'm going to create a new project for this. So file, new project, and then you will get this screen here for the new project where you have to select your processor. So I'm using a STM32 WB55 CGU. So after selecting your processor, click the start project button. Now if you remember, our switch was on PA5. So I'm going to configure this as GPIO input. So you can do that by right clicking. And you can also change the name of this. So I'm going to just put down push button and our test LED was on PA3. So I'm going to configure that as a GPIO output and label that as test LED. I'm not going to configure anything else at the moment, but obviously we do have the programmer. However, I'm going to be using the USB programmer for this example. And then we do need our external crystals that we have. So we have a 32 kilohertz crystal and a 16 megahertz crystal. So I'm going to configure both of them. The next thing I'm going to do for the first program is go to clock configuration and select our external crystals. So LSE, the crystal that we're using is 16 megahertz. So that's what I'm going to put into here. So that's the high speed external. And you can see here, that's the low speed external. I'm not too worried about the frequencies right now. So I'm just going to leave this as it is. Click on project manager. And for the project name, I'm just going to call it first program. And for the tool chain, I want to change that to STM32 cube IDE. And I want to change the location to first program. I don't need to configure anything else at the moment. So the first test we're doing is just to make sure that the microcontroller is working. Then we'll basically test the i squared c and the IMU. And then lastly, I will test the Bluetooth, but all of that's going to be on another video. So in this video, I just want to show you how to program your first project. So next I'm going to generate code with by pressing this button over here as soon as the code's generated you have these options i'm just going to press close on this button i don't need this software anymore because the code will be generated so i'm going to open stm cube 32 ide now so first time you open your project you'll get a window like this what you want to do is click file open projects from file system and then find the project where you saved it so i'm going to use this one here so you can see first programs loaded up and it's imported as a STM32 cube IDE project. Click finish. Now you'll get this program here. You click the hammer button and that's basically your first compile. So you can see that build is done. Now if you want to look for the main program, it's basically core src main.c. Now if you go into there and scroll down, you can enter your code into this section over here. Or if you want to initialize more pins or anything like that, obviously that needs a different tutorial. But this one, I'm just going to toggle the pin, which I have on pin IO3. You can see my pin is called test, test LED, which is what I named it on the STM Cube MX software from here. So if I go back to here, you can see I've named it test LED. And the initialization code is basically down here. So that's the push button and then this is the LED. I'm just going to use test LED for now. 
So I've basically, so what I'm doing here is toggling the LED on and off and I've got a delay of 200 milliseconds. So let me build that up. Now to program this into your microprocessor, you need to find the .elf file, which if you go into your project, so we saved the project in first program. Now if you go to debug and first program .elf, this is the file you need. So what I'm going to do now is open up STM32 Cube Programmer. You will get a window like this. Now in order to detect the processor, you basically need to start up the microcontroller in bootloader mode. And to do that, what you need to do is hold the boot pin down and then power on the board. So you can see that the power's come on. And then over here, you can detect your USB. So you configure USB over here and then you can select your port. Now, if I don't power it on with the boot zero pin pressed, then the device will go into its program mode. Now you can see the LED is flashing because I programmed this board up before when I was testing. If I refresh my ports on the USB, you can see nothing turns up. Let's do that again. I'm gonna hold the boot zero pin and power on the board. So boot zero pin is down. I've powered the board on. You can see the LED is not flashing anymore. And if I refresh my screen, you can see the port USB one has been detected. So that's the port that I want. Next, I'm going to click open file, select the ELF file, which is in debug. So first program.elf, and then finally click download. You can see it says file download complete. So now let's power cycle the board again. Now on the code, I was flashing the LED every 200 milliseconds. So let's see if that's programmed in. So you can see that the test LED here is flashing now with the rate that we wanted. So we've basically uploaded the code using the USB DFU, which came pre-programmed on this microcontroller. So that is how you can generate your first program for an STM32 processor and program it with USB DFU. Now we could program this with a VLink if I had connected the serial wire debug interface over here. However, I've not done that. I'm just going to use the USB programmer for this. As you can see, the microcontroller seems to be running okay. I've not checked the timing on this, but then I didn't, I didn't configure the clock correctly anyway. So in the next video, I'm going to make sure I configure the clock correctly and get other sections of the board working. So the next focus will be the IMU and I'll show you what the data lines on the SDA and the SCL look like as well. So hopefully you found that useful. And that is how you program a STM32 processor using the DFU USB. So that covers everything I wanted to cover for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.